Hey guys, this is Rob from Daz, and today I'm going to be doing a DynamicsYZ to Daz tutorial. Before watching this tutorial, it is advised that you go to the official Dynamics's YouTube channel and watch at least two of their official tutorials. So be sure to check out creating your tracking profile as performer and creating your retargeting profile as performer. This will help you become familiar with the process of getting motion capture data through the Dynamics' software. When recording your video, please make sure to use the facial expressions found in the References Images folder as a guide to prepare for the performer software for the DAS pipeline. Okay, follow these steps. Open the folder where you installed the Dynamics software. Go to Performer, Data, ROM, and in this location, copy the provided folder, Genesis 8 DAS. Open a new session of Performer. Load your video. Select your neutral pose and place your markers. When you're done, hit apply and a new window will pop up. Select the guided ROM option and select the Genesis 8 DAS option. Now, match the expressions in your video with the Genesis figure expression on the right. Press apply, pose, and just leave the naming as it is. Repeat this process for as many poses as you can. Keep in mind, not everyone has the same level of facial expressivity. If you're having trouble mimicking a certain facial pose, you can just skip it. There are a total of 136 already retargeted poses, which include all face movements and phonemes in order to cover all range of human expression. All these facial poses need to have markers placed in the tracking profile mode. When you're done with this phase, you can now track the whole timeline. Open the Maya Scene Face Controls file. Type in the DXYZ bridge in your Mel script editor with the capital B and connect Maya to Performer. Back in Performer, press the Import Guided ROM Data button. Select the Genesis 8 option and hit Import. Go back to your Genesis 8 DAS folder. Go to Links, Genesis 8, and copy all the contents of this folder. Now go to the location where you saved your current dynamic session. Go to Profile and double-click the Retarg folder, Genesis 8, Links, and paste everything. Hit Replace on any existing files. The purpose of this is to skip the whole retargeting phase, which can take hours to complete. Now you can go back to Performer and press the Solve button, which will transfer the motion capture data into the Maya scene. After the transfer is complete, go to Maya and hit Export All. Select the FBX Export option, then make sure your FBX version is 2014-2015. In DAS Studio, open up a scene and import the previously created FBX file. With the FBX following the scene selected, go to File, Save As, Pose Preset, and save the current range of animation. Now, simply load the animation into the Genesis face controls and watch your characters come to life. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for listening.